So here's the deal. I am uh, waiting on the Hikemeister and his uh, monster truck. It's, uh, it's pretty early, sort of. It's at 6.45. It's freaking bright out, though. It's incredible. Why am I up at 6.45? Uh, we're heading out to Matt's in uh, Marathon again. And I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited, although I don't sound like it, because I'm not that morning guy that I used to be. You know, my army days, I was early every day. So when I got out, I was kind of like, hey, I'm sleeping in from now on. But uh, certain things get me up, as you guys know. Wahoo is one. And swordfish now has fast become the other one, as well as lobster season. So uh, we're going to head down to Matt's at Marathon, and uh, we're going to see if we can pluck a swordfish out of the, out of the sky. And uh, I would love some swordfish steaks. Elizabeth loves them. Um, looks like it's going to be a guy trip today, but still, it should be very exciting. So follow me. I'm having my second cup of coffee to get my butt moving, and uh, we're going to see how this thing turns out. So I'm very, very excited. Meister is here. We are here. We are ready to rock Caravan. and roll. Your uh, bait cooler is so clean compared to mine. Well, I don't know if that's enough. What time we got one? Yeah. He says that's enough. Because I'm hoping maybe, maybe Rosie's too. Would that be yeah, too much to ask? <laughs> we'll put in our orders when we get there. Phase one. Uh, so ice in the ice in the truck. Cooler in the truck. We know we're coming back with swordfish today because Matt's already got one from the other day. So he must have uh, 120, 30, 40 pounds of meat. So we're gonna be coming back with swordfish for real. But, you know, just wanna make sure that uh, maybe we come back with some rosies or uh, yeah, maybe some grouper. Although, not exactly my thing. I mean, grouper's okay, don't get me wrong. But not when you got rosies and swordfish. So. All right, cheers. Follow us. It's gonna be a freaking awesome day. We're on our way down to Matt's now. We got uh, we got some coffee. We got a little snack of doodle doos just to get us down there. And um, one thing that Matt asked me to do before we go down is uh, I got to perform an exorcism on Heiko to make sure that he doesn't have any skunk on him. Because oh, the only time we don't yeah. get a swordfish is when that guy is with us right there. So I oh swordfish gods. Oh, <laughs> be gone with you. Be gone. Be gone. Expel. Expel. <laughs> All right, Matt, I'm, I'm hoping the exorcism took and uh, Skunk is gone, it's behind us, and we're gonna, we're gonna slam him today. It's a tough life we lead, but somebody has to do this. So, out on the Falcon again. That was good, too. Amazing. This one, this one too? Holy yeah. crap. Let's see what's in here. Oh, oh, lots of beautiful geez. swordfish, man. And that, just the way I like it too. I don't like the pink ones. I don't like the, uh, the, yep. the pumpkin ones. That's Dan the one like I like. The pumpkin ones, That's yeah. the one I like right there, baby. Big, big swells. I mean, we got fours and fives. Not a good day for the meek or mild man. <laughs> what? All right, so we've been fishing for about, I don't know, eight minutes. Fish is on. Yep, holding. Here we go. Now, you're now the battle begins. So, this is crazy. reel coming in here, rods loaded up over there, Heiko and Matt both on it right now. It's going to be a battle, and so it begins. We are sword fishing. We, we hit the bottom initially, hooked up immediately. Not hooked up, we baited up. The fish missed the hook. It was right behind it. Had him on for a bit, then we just dropped back down. So we're going to sword fish for three quarters of the day, and if we don't get one we're gonna do a little rosy fishing oh man or barrel fish if we get lucky My favorite is rosy fishing so rosy so. fishing is always fun out here with captain matt from marathon charters down here in marathon the best charter captain i know and of course we all know the hype meister there from south florida fishing if we Channel. don't catch the sword today it's all my fault and it is we've tried the exorcism on the way out so i'm i'm very i'm confident we I'm had confident. a bite though we had a bite we had immediately. a bite we had a bite immediately so, and so. that's the one that I kissed. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. You know, okay. Whoop, 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 That looked interesting, actually. I saw it at the corner of my eye. What's so the depth, Heiko, right now? So that's what we're out you here doing. No, the depth. We What's are going to do 16, some sword 43. fishing. We're going to do some so that deep dropping, bottom. and it's going to be a great day. Sea trash. Looks like a shark thing. Well, chewing on we're that. done sword fishing. All right. We're, yeah, we're going to pick up some sea trash here. Who the hell's been eating that thing? Looks like it's got bite marks on it. Something happened to it. Oh, that's destroyed. I'm not sure how many gaffers You got it. You had it. 
Yeah, catch. Got it. What, nice catch. What's in it? Catch of the day. Nothing. Got like a uh, shum. What was that? You know that? what it smells like? It's grease. Oh. It's full of grease. Yes, delicious. Mmm. Yes, delicious. Fresh squib. Juicy little squib. Yes, squib. that'll turn into tiny morsels of rosy okay, fish. Okay, let's see those puppies. Yum. Oh, they're getting... They're, they're going to get some good, good meat today. You know, we should get the bigger rosies with these, with these guys. Yeah, I Ooh, love them. bigger rosies. Rosies. Rosie! My favorite rosies. Keep Elizabeth happy. Yes. <laughs> That's Walking. dropping for the rosies. It's a little less current here. We're at three and a half knots. We just right. left the sword guard out. We had a four knot current out there. Look at this. We send it down and it comes back looking like this. How dare they? They have not seen the last of us. We will get them back. Got one, two, three. Timber. All right. Go get them. I think we got fish on this time. So we got dinner. You know why? It's because I baited the hooks. That's why. Well, I'm sure that's it. It's got yeah. Captain Dan smell on it. You see that color? I do not. Oh, yep. Yeah. There we go. There's one. Yeah. There's one. There's Ooh, my. There's a Rosie. Hello, sweetheart. All right, Lee. Hello. We had more than that on when we started. Hello, I sweetheart. Welcome aboard. Zan's happy. There we go. Very nice to see you. Nice to meet your acquaintance. All right. You got the valve open back there, Dan? I have. Uh, the valve is open. Though. See, Senora. I believe it is. Yes. The water is pouring out. All right. Little Rosietta. Oh yeah. Look at you. Good little beautiful fillet right here, huh? Hello. You're so cute. Thank you for coming with us. Hey, this is going to be rod good. That rod, the rod tip fighting. is doubled over, baby. Here comes something. Rosies. Two of them. Two nice rosies. One oh, fat. one of them's oh, a beast. A fatty. That's a beastie rose. Oh, get that dude up here, man. Don't lose that one. <laughs> Don't lose that one. <laughs> wow. That's a nice one. That's yeah, the that's, one, that's boy. That's a good one. I think one. we lost one about 400 feet down. Yeah, he's got some serious uh, slabs of meat on him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sacrifice. Okay, we can do that. I'll do that. Yep. I'll do that right now. All right, Come here, you bye -bye. guys get that going. I'm like kind of eating the whole thing. I just don't want to get clipped by him. Nice. All right. All right, we're going to let you go. Look at that. Look how good we are. Freedom! All right, you know what the coolest part about these fish is? When you let them go, they don't have any bladders. They go straight down. You don't have to worry about that. Uh oh. <laughs> there he goes. All right. There he goes. There he goes. Goodbye, Mr. Rosie. And now you. Oh, yeah. Wow. You. You're it's crazy that they can swim back down that deep. Thousand your, feet. Your fate. That is a huge. He's not move. going That's to be as yeah, lucky. Not <laughs> you're not going back. Sorry, man. Holy moly. Sorry, he is dude. Huge. He's Sorry. camera worthy. Huge. Yeah, this is. That's uh, a beautiful rose fish. Here. Oh, nice. Yep. Look at that. That and, and he actually. Feels, I mean, he feels oh, yeah, heavy. That's a beefy fish. He is a nice looking fish. Yeah. Oh, dude, wow. look at you. It. You are something else. You're pretty. I think that was the ticket. We that's were it. We the bait size. We had All a right. bit bigger bait at first. Yep. That one. Oh, yeah, look at that. Sure, Almost ripped it right out of his mouth. Nice. Look at that, guys. Those are beauties. Look at that, he's hanging on by a string. Yeah, see, so we almost lost that guy. Yeah, look, at, look at the size of the hole that you get in their mouth. That, that guy's hooked really good, but that one, we almost almost lost him. Oh, I got All you. All right, Dan and Heiko, we're going to get them taken care of. I I'm got you, my man. Nice. Here we go. Let's see what we got. Uh, do we need the gaff this time to bring it over? All right. What do we got here? We got other bait. Oh, oh, what's, get what's it, get that it, under? Get it, get it, get it. There's a shitload of other bait chasing it. Oh up. my goodness. Okay, whoop, whoop. Oh, got them all. Sorry, another, goodness. another beast. Let me get the camera. So you got a triple. Triple. A triple. Look at that. Oh my god. Triple rosy. Look at that. Gonna be a rosy kind of That's weed. a big one, right there. That's there. a nice chucker. That's chucker. a fat swa. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 A fat swa. That's a fat swa. 
Well, I we, like that. we can't yeah, probably do one more drop in there. That's I think we got to do one more drop. We're here. I mean, we're here. Elizabeth right. would be proud. Of you. Elizabeth is going to be very proud and very happy. Elizabeth told Dan, don't you come home without a rosy. Without a rosy, so, so make, here we go. Make Dan's That's marital it. life last a lot That's longer right. here. That's right. <laughs> yes, thank you. I go wrestling with him. Ah, give me that hook on. Get him out. Get him, get him. Yes. Nice, look at that. <laughs> There's another one coming up. There is color down there. There's color, yep, there it is. Switched uh, to two, no, just one. Just one. The other one's dead. The other one's dropped off. off. Yep, we lost one. Got off. We probably lost one, maybe on that weight wise. All right, nice. Weight secured. And Rosie is safely on board. Got a bend on that ride now. Whew. Wow! It's either world record rosies or we got something else. Could be three great big rosies. Could be three monster rosies. Who knows? What do you think it is, Dan? Man, I don't know, but I like it. It's stopping the reel. It's looking good. There is color. Big rosies. Oh, it's a bunch of rosies. Oh, man. Three big rosies. Three Holy nice rosies. Oh, look at this one. Look at, grab that one. Get grab get this get one. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, I want. Oh, nice, 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 oh nice. Oh, my God. Hey. Holy Ooh, crap! Those are three. studs! <laughs> wow! Nice! Alright, that is the Rosie jackpot. Wow! Well, right. <laughs> we're solid on Rosie. I think I we're think good so to go. Too. I think we're good to go. <laughs> we are good to go with the Rosies. Alright, All right. we're going to wrap it up here for the barn here. Man! That's a good way to end the day right there. Always end the day on a high note? That's the high note right there. That's, That's awesome. That's the high I note. High five that one. Brother, Woo! we are yeah, rosied awesome, up. Man. Man. That was rosied up. Rosies. Man, right. look at the size of them. That's a beauty. He's compared to like my foot. <laughs> he almost, he almost. I'm a size like, 10. What size are you, Hike? He's almost the size oh, of a grouper yeah. right there. Yeah. Yeah, he is like. He's almost a 20 size. inch red. Wow. Ha! All right. That's amazing. That's a wrap. Plenty of meat, and that is a wrap. Thanks a lot for following us. It's been an amazing day. It's been a long day. It's actually 7.30, almost 8 o'clock at night, right now, believe it or not. So it's been a full day. So we got a cooler. Matt was generous enough. Gave us a whole bunch of that swordfish that you saw earlier when we first started this day. So here's some nice, there's got to be 10, 10 pounds of swordfish in here. And then we're going to take all these rosies. I don't even know how many there are. I think Hiker's going to, going to ask Hiker to take those and dump them in here. All right, you ready? Yep. Watch this. Here we go. One rosy, two rosy, three little rosies, four little, five little, six little rosies. Holy crap, there's a bunch of rosies. Rosies, rosies, rosies. <laughs> I love it. All right. Now I'm going to go get a bucket of ice and throw it on top. We are back in the kitchen, and I cannot tell you how excited I was when Captain Dan told me that they caught rosies again because. Rosies are one of our absolute favorite fish now. We were just introduced to them this year and they are hands down one of our favorites. Probably next to hogfish, swordfish, and wahoo. I mean, there's very few fish that are better than a rosy. So today I'm gonna to show you a new recipe with a secret ingredient. So first of all, we have half a cup of panko breadcrumbs and half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. Now what I did was I fresh grated it. Uh, we had a block of Parmesan that I used. You could get the powder if you have that um, already or if that's your preference uh, or you can grate it fresh at home, doesn't matter either way. So we have that, we have parsley that we picked from our little garden downstairs and dried out. And of course, it would not be a Florida fishing couple video without a ton of garlic. So you know us, we don't use uh, garlic salt, we use garlic powder because we're not trying to add a bunch of salt to anything. So I've got that uh, ready. So now we are just gonna swirl this all around. You wanna get it mixed together well. So now we have it fully combined and of course we have the amazing rosy fillets. So the panko mixture is ready and I promised you a secret ingredient and you're never gonna guess what it is. Yellow mustard. <laughs> it's one of my favorite things ever. And I found this recipe where they use yellow mustard instead of an egg wash uh, to get the coating on. What you're gonna do is squeeze the yellow mustard 
on the fillets and then just spread it out like you're buttering a piece of toast. You're gonna be amazed at this. So now that we've got the mustard on the fish and you just do one side, so one side only, you are going to be amazed. We're gonna take it, we're gonna put it straight into the breadcrumbs, the panko mixture, tamp it down a little bit. Look at that. Can you believe it? Perfect. It's way better than egg wash. All right, we're gonna do that for all three. We are going to preheat this cast iron skillet. I used a little bit of avocado oil in here because it has a high smoke point and this cast iron skillet is gonna get real hot. While we are preheating that cast iron skillet, I am gonna go ahead and get our side dish ready, which is super easy today. We're doing quinoa and kale. It's from Path of Life and it is so good. If you like garlic, like we do, this is amazing. It takes like six minutes, microwave in the bag, easy peasy and you're done. This meal is one that is so fast. If you eat fish regularly, this has gotta be on your like weekly rotation because I think it's gonna be really good and it's super fast. All right, I think the pan's hot enough, so we're gonna get it out. Always wear a glove. Okay, yeah, that is piping hot. So the reason you do that is because we're gonna put the fish in here. The bottom will be cooked by the pan and the top is gonna to be cooked by the broiler. That's what makes it so quick to be done. So we're gonna lay this in here nicely. You can already hear it sizzling a little bit. Not a massive sizzle, but a little sizzle. Put that in. Okay, oops. <laughs> Just burnt myself a little bit. Be extra careful, everybody. Okay, once it's in the pan, we are going to slide it back into the oven on broil. And it should only take about five minutes. So we're also going to get this uh, quinoa and kale cranking. All right. By the way, nice shirt. Yeah, thanks. Um, G-Man from Texas and his wife printed both of us shirts. Uh, they're pretty cool. I like it a lot. That's and, lots of patriotic stuff right there. I like it too. Yeah. Put our logo on them. So thank you so much, Pete and Pete's wife, Mrs. Pete. Uh, for the shirts because we really like them. So thanks a lot. Okay, so it's been in there for four minutes and I want to check it because it's on broil and I don't want to burn it. Oh, you guys. Okay, I'm not sure if it's done. I might convert it to bake because I want to be sure it's... Yeah, it's not done. <laughs> it's not done. So to make sure the breadcrumbs don't burn, I am going to convert it to bake instead of broil because it's so close to the top, that fire that we have, because we've got a gas stove, is just roasting it. So back in it goes on bake. Uh, we'll do 400. The top is done and I don't want it to dry out. So I just thought, let's put the cast iron skillet on the stove and we'll heat it from the bottom. So that's what we're doing. We've got it uh, going about almost full blast and it's coming right along. All right, it's time. So, okay, this was a recipe that we tested for the first time on camera, which we normally don't do. We normally figure it out and then we share it with you, but it worked out great for us last time. So everyone cross your fingers, it works out great for us now. What I will say is um, the recipe called for just broiling it for five minutes, that obviously did not work for us. So we had it under the broiler for about three and a half minutes and you saw how these little breadcrumbs were getting a little crusty. So we converted it to bake and did that for about two minutes. Then we took it out, put it on top of the stove and cooked it there for another two minutes. So all said and done, it was about seven minutes. If you have thinner fillets, you'll need less time. So Best practice is just keep an eye on it. Like don't wander off and set a timer and pray that it's done. You've got to watch it. So, okay, enough blabbing. It's time to try it. Okay. That's where the, the hook meets the road. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Honest opinion. Hmm. Hmm. Can you taste the mustard? That's number one. I can taste the mustard. You can, okay. 
I'm obsessed with yellow mustard. If anyone does not know, like that is my condiment of choice. I could eat yellow mustard with everything. I basically do. So I don't know if you really can taste it or if I'm just tuned into it. You know what I mean? Uh, I'll take a bite of this one. I'm just gonna stick my fork in every fish we cook. <laughs> so scale of one to 10. I really like it. I'm interested to get your opinion, babe. Mm -hmm. All right, fork in hand. So, I'm gonna give you my honest opinion. I'm talking to Elizabeth right now. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna give you an honest opinion, okay? Because I've had these rosies before and I love them. I don't know but what this honestly, is gonna be like. Honestly, in my mind, this might be overpowering for rosies. Oh, really? Yeah. You mean the, what might be? That's uh, a nice looking piece though, look at that. It's really, really nice. It looks, aesthetically, it looks marvelous. Okay, go ahead and try it. Okay. Mm-hmm, 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 okay. Okay, all right. So, honest opinion, right? No, this, this means he doesn't <laughs> like it, you guys. It's okay, he doesn't have to love everything. <laughs> but I love you. No, listen. Here's my honest opinion. You're right. I taste mustard. Uh huh. Um, and I thought it was gonna be like when we cook, when we do a pork butt and we and we cover it in mustard and then put the dry rub on it. You never taste mustard at all. Uh huh. But this, there is a mustard flavor to this. It's not bad. Actually, it's not bad at all. I like the texture of the um, the panko on there. The flavor of that is really good. The rosies are very mild. Mm hmm. So the mustard does kind of over, I would just say less mustard and this would have been perfect. I don't That's know. All. I don't know if you could do less mustard and have it stick to it correctly. Mm. Maybe a more mm -hmm. fishy fish, maybe like a more, um, like a grouper maybe. Yeah. Where like it could hold up to the mustard flavor. To the, to the, yeah. These are, these are, it's a very subtle flavored fish. Um, but I like the texture and I do like the flavor. It's just a lot of mustard. Yeah. Yeah, uh, that, but the question is, is because you like mustard so much, is this something that you would want to do again? Um, I like it. I, I know that you are not a mustard fan, so I would right. say we probably won't make it again, but if I was making fish for my own self, I'd probably do it again. See, I would do it with ketchup, because I love ketchup. <laughs> you know what might be good is mayonnaise, because I love mayonnaise, but... Just saying. Anyway, well, it was it was a good try. No, listen, I'm gonna eat it. It's not like it's not like it's not, not edible. It's very good. This just goes to show, like real life stuff, right? Like not every recipe you make is gonna be a home run. I like it. He thought it was mediocre. Uh, that's okay. It's one meal, right? It's kind of like when we go out fishing. Some days are magnificent, and some days are mediocre. <laughs> Okay, that's true. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Okay, cool. But I like it. If you're into mustard, you'll probably like this. You like if it. you are not so much into mustard, then it's going to be a crapshoot. But it is the bottom line. We're going to eat it anyway because it's really good. Well, the rosies are great. So you can pretty much do anything you want to a rosy and it's still going to be delicious. A rosy is marvelous. All right. Yeah. I'm taking it as we speak. All right, everyone. Well, thank you. Oh, man. Hear the lightning? The lightning thunder? and thunder. The storms have found us again. Thunder. And the lightning. Anyway. Thank you guys so much. We love you. Uh, if you are new here and you have not yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. If you've been with us for a long time, uh, be sure you also have the bell on because you don't want to miss any of our adventures and we've got lots more coming. So you know the deal. Follow, follow us. us. This is an update. <laughs> so here's the deal. I started eating this. I think what happened was the first bite I tasted mustard, and mustard and fish for me didn't work, I think, in my brain. But now as I'm eating it, it's it's really good. This is much better than I had given it credit for in the first place. Aww, so thanks. I'm really, really enjoying it. I mean, I'm really, I'm, I'm really enjoying this. So, bon appetit. Well, okay. I'm back for a third take after the first take. Now I'm at the point where I would do this again and immediate, immediately. This is really... Really good. Here's the thing with this fish. This is not a mealy, mushy kind of uh, fish. This fish has got really firm texture that you literally have to like kind of cut it with a fork. 
I don't like fish that just falls apart and is mushy and mealy in your mouth. This is a great recipe for this fish. At first, the mustard kind of just kind of freaked me out. But now, I don't even taste the mustard. Now it's like all texture and fish and panko um, and garlic, of course, and, and the parsley. So this is a home run. No, I, this is just took me a minute to kind of adjust. It's really good. Mm -hmm. Home run, you guys. Mm -hmm. I like it. Hope you try it. Let us know if you do. Do you have squid? I have oh some. Oh my god. I got some. I got some. I got some. I got you covered. Was that Matt that said he was going to go get some in the morning, or is that you? That was you. <laughs> that was me? The squid. We're not very smart. We should have put the cooler in first. Oh, that's not bad. We're not smart, but we're strong. <laughs> Thank God. There's our chariot for the day. Our, yes, I said chariot. Our chariot. Our chariot for the day. Now we, now we ride in style. No more of that old Tahoe stuff. All right, what did we do? What did we just do? <laughs> we just spent $100 on bagels. A hundred bucks on bagels. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's good though? They're 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 salmon. There's salmon on the bagels. So mm. if worst comes to worst, we can deep drop with some of the salmon. That'd be kind of. Oh, that is quite the sacrifice. <laughs> and get a little rosy like this big. <laughs> Damn. All right. All right. When the hike goes right, we're in the wrong business. We should be in the bagel business. Apparently, it's hot. Period, man. It's gonna be a killer. All right. We got the we got the rod. Got a little jigging rod. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Anybody know what that is? No idea what the hell that ship is. Very strange looking animal. Boy, is it rough out here. Woo! Holy mackerel. Oh! Oh my god, the rest of your ship, you see it all the way on the top? Romaldi. That's how far of a drop we got to be on and down. All right. All right. There we go. See, Give him a nice smooch. On, I gotta do it again. <laughs> a little, little tongue. There we go. A little tongue action. Little tongue. Ah. That was good. All right. Very good. All right. Kind of delicious. All right. Okay. <laughs> That's how far out we are, people. We're out with the cruise ships. Double. <laughs> and and a fishing boat in the middle. Now there's a guy oh, with yeah, balls. There's, another cruise ship. there's a guy with balls. Two cruise ships and a guy in the middle. He's going like for the bow of that cruise ship. But he ain't paying attention. No, I don't know what he's doing, man. A little, a little dangerous. If I was that cruise ship uh, captain, I'd be I'd be like, dude, where are you doing? Who eats amberjack first thing in the morning? Who? I took the worms out Who? of it. Okay? Ah. Not even first thing. You might as well just leave them in. It doesn't matter. It's almost like <laughs> brass monkey time. Yeah, what's the difference? Worms, no worms, it's amberjack. But I think it might be Moby Dick. Moby's dick. How Man, dare you? Moby's this is dick. not a porno. Moby. <laughs> oh, I, I'm sorry, I misunderstood. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Michael. Damn. This is not rated X. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. I can really use an ice cold beer right now. That's oh, the truth. That's what, we're losing our that's mind. That's the truth. I had to think of that word. No, that would be a lot of garlic in one spot. No, I'm not gonna do that, hang on. So the breading, coating, breading, what would we call that? Mm. The top, the panko mm. mixture. Panko mixture, great. It's getting all hot and bubbly. That sounds weird. Oh God, hot and bothered, okay. <laughs> and, yeah, yeah. Uh, I just think, Heat and serve, baby. Wow, Lord, okay. I know I can't say that, Dan. Take two. You want to say something else? What are you looking at? So to make sure the breadcrumbs don't, uh, why do I, why do I have a problem saying burn? Oh. Blah, blah, blah. Anything else you want to say? Hmm. My arm is getting tired. My arm is getting tired. <clears throat> so no, no, nothing else I want to say, except for if you haven't subscribed, we need you to subscribe already.